Well, this is my office, and as you can see, we've got photos of some of my horses around there with a couple of Brent. We've got the New Zealand Bloodstock Filly of the Year Race Win Series, which was Boundless, and that's Boundless, who was my, my mare with a couple of partners, and she won the New Zealand Oaks. Basically, I got into insurance not long after I left school. I started off as a nurse, went nursing, and unfortunately I saw a burnt baby who lived, fortunately, but that was too awful for me, so I decided that nursing wasn't for me. And I rang mum and said, look, I'm coming home. And she said, well, don't think you're coming home unless you've got a job. Then I ended up um, moving up to Waikato from Palmerston North to take a position as New Zealand manager for Logan's when I was 27. After I retired, quite a few of my clients rang me and said, look, would you just do my account? Would you just do my account? And so basically from there, I've just started doing one or two clients and it's grown out from there into a pretty large business. A few other photos, <laughs> a couple of certificates winning, winning bike races, nothing very major. There's really only two. It's, there's really not that many. In the 2009, I did with a sore back. That's why I only did that shorter race. I did the 20 kilometer one. And this year was the 2010, and I beat the Open and the seniors, but one of the juniors beat me. <laughs> I guess I started off cycling, cycling when we went to France a few years ago. And we just cycled around the hills and I really enjoyed it. So I came back and just bought a better bike. And then, because I was cycling, I thought, well, why not uh, do a couple of little competitions? And to my surprise, I did okay in it. So I guess that's why I really enjoyed it. And the fact I could beat Brent, that was a huge thing. Because <laughs> he beats me at everything. So it was really nice to be able to beat him at something. Yeah, well, the Maserati belongs to the the cover belongs to the car, but I put it on my on my Pilates machine. <laughs> Brent doesn't cover his car, so <laughs> goes on my Pilates machine. Never mind. I'll see you soon. I wanna be a billionaire, so freaking bad. Wasn't that nice of the council to put the cycle way in for us? The things I never had. The sales, yeah, we're just basically pretty. What will be will be. We're hopeful that it'll be a good, strong sale. We've got four really nice horses, so we're pretty confident we'll sell 100% of them. And that's our main aim, to meet the market and get them sold, get them out there with good trainers and running. Because at the end of the day, if they get onto the tracks, they run well, everyone will come back and buy their brothers and sisters. And that's what our business is. We need to be selling for a long time, not for a one-off. So we've got to get them out there and get them sold. And we'll meet the market, but hopefully it'll be a strong sale. And it's a good catalogue, so hopefully we'll have a strong sale and we'll get them all sold. Being a parent is much harder than running a big company. I always used to think that because I left home at 7 o'clock in the morning and got home at 7.30 at night, that was a much harder job than parenting. We're lucky, both the girls are really good. Gracie's just been really easy and no trouble at all. She's a good student. and a really nice girl and, and Ella always tells me how much she loves me and um, I guess that's your payback, that's your best time in parenting. When they're good kids and they really love you, it's just that unconditional love. <laughs>